not been here for many long years, but I remember the way to Karaskalothan, tree city of the elves. Elves! Be at ease. I am Haldir of Lorien. I have been following you for some time. You breathe so loud, I could shoot you in the dark. Huh? Have no fear. The Lady Galadriel is expecting you. But the Dwarf is not permitted on our land. But Elrond chose him. He's brave and faithful. Very well. But he must travel blindfolded. I am no spy. I will not walk blind like a prisoner. My people do not serve the enemy. This is our law. I will go forward free. A plague on dwarves and their stiff necks. Hold. We will all go blindfolded. <laughs> A merry troop of fools we shall look. I will be content if Legolas shares my blindness. But I am an elf. I am a kinsman here. Shall we say a plague on elves and their stiff necks? The company shall all fare alike. Bind us all, Haldir. So be it. I shall lead you safely to Karos Galothan, where Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel await you. Gandalf the Grey set out with your company. Where is he now? Alas, lady. Gandalf fell into shadow. He did not escape Moria. In all the long years full of grievous tidings, these are the most evil. When escape seemed beyond us, he saved us, and he fell. We will hear the tale another day, for you are weary and heartsick. We will do what we can to help you, especially the one who bears the burden. Your quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray even a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. Yet, hope remains while all the fellowship is true. Rest, and we will not speak of the road ahead for a while. Rest, and we will not speak of the road ahead for a while. Your quest stands upon the... Lothlorien. I've never seen such beauty. I do not feel too sure of this elvish lady and her purposes. The Lady Galadriel. It surprises me to say this, but she is fair beyond belief. Indeed, there is no one fairer in any land. Mm. Did you try these elven delicacies? I've never tasted anything like it. Imagine spending thousands of years perfecting your recipes. To think, Frodo, all of this, built in and upon great trees, it's marvelous, truly marvelous. I wonder if I shall see any elf magic while we're here. I wonder if I shall see any elf magic while we're here. The elves sing a lament for Gandalf. I share their grief. There is no evil in this land, or its people, unless a man brings it here himself. Here is the mirror of Galadriel. I have brought you here to look in it, if you will. What will we see? Things you desire to see, and things unbidden. Things that were, are, and may yet be. I'll have a peek. There's only stars. Wait, what? It's Ted Sandyman cutting down all our trees. I'll cut him down. Oh, devilry. They've dug a bagshot row. They've run off my old gaffer. I have to go to the Shire. Would you turn from Frodo's quest? No. Do you wish to look now, Frodo? I will look. I see a land in shadows, and an old man walking toward me. Gandalf? No. White robes. Saruman? There's the sea. A tall ship from the west, and a white fortress. With seven towers, another ship, with black sails, and the emblem of a white tree, I see a great battle, and an eye, ringed with fire. I know what you saw, for it is in my mind as well. 
But the enemy cannot hurt you here. This land is not preserved merely by singing or arrows. Behold, Nenya, the Ring of Adamant. A ring Sauron cannot rule unless you fail, and he gains the ring. We would be laid bare before him, yet, if you succeed, my power will diminish, and Lothlorien will fade. Which do you choose, lady? My love for my people is deeper than the sea, yet I would cast it all away rather than submit to Sauron. I wish you to destroy the ring. I would give you the ring, if you ask for it. You would give me the ring freely? In place of the Dark Lord, you would set up a queen. And I shall not be dark, but beautiful and terrible as the morning and the night. All shall love me and despair. No, I pass the test. I will diminish and go into the West. And remain Galadriel. Lady Galadriel, you wear one of the rings of power. When I wear the One Ring, why can't I see into your mind or the minds of others? Because you have not tried. But I warn you not to. You would have to become far stronger and train your will to the domination of others. And then you would lose the one virtue that makes you more able to resist the Ring than any of the wise and powerful. We will not speak more of it. Let us go. The next day we said farewell to Lorien. Celeborn and Galadriel gave us boats of elven make, and we set out on the great river Anduin toward Mordor. Aragorn has been gone for some time. I hope his scouting goes well. It is not Aragorn that concerns me, but you. You have a difficult path ahead. Yes. I know what I should do, but I'm afraid of doing it. And yet, do you suffer needlessly? I know you wish me to bear the ring to Gondor, and it seems like wisdom, except for the warning in my heart. What warning is that? A warning against the easy path, against the refusal of my burden. And if it must be said, against trust in the strength and truth of the big people of the world. Our strength has long protected your little shire. I do not doubt the valor of Gondor, but what if it is not enough? There is still hope that Gondor will not fall. There is no hope while the ring exists. Yes, the ring. We can use its power for good. All that is done with the ring turns to evil. All can be corrupted, some faster than others. Frodo, Boromir, make ready. The orcs have built fortifications. What would you have us do? Wake the others and prepare to move out. Stealth may not serve us here. We may have to fight. Think of my counsel, Frodo. It is all I ask of you. We'll need to clear this shore in order to port into the boats. Gimli, Legolas, Boromir, I'll need your assistance.
and continue on. shall pursue the Nazgul. This is my fault. That ring wraith mistook Sam for me. I must make amends. No, Frodo! We must distract the creature while they rescue our comrade. Baruch Khazad! To battle!
has eluded me. Presence? How strange.
Frodo, I'll hold off the orcs. Climb to the top. I'll follow when I can.
Safety. It is time for Anduro to strike. the foul beast!
the Fellowship of the Ring has triumphed. They have brought low the flying ring wraith. They have taken Frodo in safety to the very edge of Morgdor. So the Fellowship has succeeded. Yet I see the ring bearer alone as he crosses into the Dark Land. Yet, not all alone. Well, everyone, that was Lord of the Wings, Fellowship of the Wing for the PS2. It was, well, an uh, interesting game. It was made by the people, well, it was more a book adaptation than based on the movie, of course. And the kid that we were going to know, know that at the time, I wonder why that, you know, why EA never made a game for the Fellowship of the wing movie but they end up incorporating that into the two towers of course the game was originally going to get a sequel called the uh treason of i um like the book like the game was supposed to get a sequel but unfortunately the company went bankrupt or the game didn't sell well if i remember correctly but the game could be good, but there are some problems with the game. Especially the combat can be pretty uh, poor at times, a bit. But and the characters, well, they kind of look a little bit different than their movie count than their movies counterparts. But but okay, yeah. So the sequel, if we're going to be out of the taste of the two towers, we're going to be for the book version would be the treason of isengard which was a discarded title for the original two towels two towers novel to avoid the confusion of e of the a game however i did create a demo for it but unfortunately it did not go well. Also, we're going to do a Return the King game as well, but fortunately, they canceled those later on. But to be quite honest, though, the game can be a bit tricky in terms of the combats because there's not a lot of room to maneuver a bit. You have to use a lot of health items in battle. Aragorn was one where, yeah, it works quite well, but honestly, if they Ever we made the game, I think this would just like add like a a bit more of a blocking mechanic or whatnot though. Or a better way to heal or whatnot. The the one thing about this game is that you can kinda get save anywhere, even doing boss fights, so honestly, you kinda can save after each hit though, and just wait to see if the boss will kill you or not. But anyways, next month we'll I'll be showing the Persona game, Persona 1, Seabeck route, in, no, in March, let's say all you Resident Evil fans will be, will be, be experiencing RE5, yep, April, I think will be Resident Evil Revelations 2, and for May, the summer months, there will be RE6. Definitely want to try to make that more cinematic in a way. But, yeah. And, mm, really can't tell much. The one thing about the game was about, about felt like it the abrupt ending. And the fact that, you know, one of Aragorn's weapon, which is a a fist you can get from Golem. Funny enough, though, it's like overpowered. <laughs> uh, for anyone who's interested in playing the game, like I could say, the PC and PS2 version are 
pretty much identical in a way, but the Xbox is like have a graphical overhaul and whatnot. So you can be I remember playing that one a bit as a kid, but that one can be a bit uh challenging in a way. Because I think I never let the Hobbiton area all, always I would just hung, hung around hung around the sire and whatnot though. And the Black Riders, uh, they just freaked me out as a kid. Ugh. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Lord of the Rings. Oh, and don't worry though. Uh... I definitely will be playing more of more of the games, especially to Towers and Return of the Kings, and probably will try this RPG one called The Third Age, which is pretty uh, pretty much a Final Fantasy X clone in a way, but with more Lord of the Rings characters in it. Because two and three mostly kind of play like dungeon crawler beat 'em ups in a way. A best, a best two towers and and return of the king. So, I'll see you all next time. Bye.